From the Ryman Auditorium in Nashville, Tennessee, the folk music capital of the world, it's your grand old Opry starring Cowboy Copas. <laughs> And a great big howdy to all our good folks, friends, and neighbors of the Grand Ole Opry. Yes, sir, on stage for tonight's Opry show, Rod Brassfield, Minnie Pearl, Moon Mulligan, Grandpa Jones, and the entire Opry gang. And off stage, waiting to entertain you folks, is our special guest for tonight, that fine country artist, Jim Wilson, and his little daughter, June. Yes, sir. Well, Jim and June will be out here in just a, a moment or so, right after we say hello to that teller of tall tales from Tennessee, the Hohenwald hotshot himself, Rod Brassfield! Yeah. Well, now, ain't that nice? Much obliged, Ben. Thank you so much. Howdy, Mr. Copas. Howdy, Rod. By Ned, it's good to see you. It's good to see you. Now, I don't care what anybody says, it's hot tonight, ain't it? <laughs> it is. <laughs> It's hot tonight. It's hey, have you seen my Uncle Sipe anywhere? I ain't seen that old scallywag in a long while. Well, I wish I could find him. He has made me so mad I could eat a goat burger. What's the matter with Uncle Sipe? Well, he's so, he's so mean to Aunt Sap, his mean, wife. Mean to Aunt Yeah, Sam. mean to her. Beats her up every morning. Oh, you don't mean it? Yeah, he gets up at 6.30 and she don't get up till late. Oh, no. <laughs> you know what he does the other day, Cooper? No, what did he do? He bought Abe Sapp a new one of these here house coats, you know? Yeah. It's but just about the color of that there shirt you got on. Oh, is that right? Yeah, loud, flowered. Oh, it's yeah. a beautiful thing. Oh, is that right? Yeah, and the next morning, the ice man knocked on the door. Yeah. And Uncle Sipe couldn't find nothing to put on except that their house coat, so he just slipped Abe Sapp. Well, them big old long jobs. <laughs> yeah, when they opened the door, that ice man come in there and dropped the ice and just hugged and kissed Uncle Sipe. <laughs> <laughs> and he ain't figured it out yet. He, the only thing he could figure out was that maybe that their ice man's wife had a house coat just like he thought. <laughs> 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 you know that ain't sap. I uh, mean, ain't uh, sap is the is ain't sap is the pitcher on the football team down there. On the ball, the softball team. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she's she's the best pitcher you ever saw. Oh, you don't mean it. Yeah, I mean it. Is Best than I ever seen. The last one. The other night they had one of the finest ball games you ever seen. Yeah. It was ladies' night, and all the ladies got in free. They did, huh? When they walked through the gate, every one of them got a half a pint of that their corn squeezing. Is that right? About the fifth inning, all the bags was loaded. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! I've got to go and see if I can find that that busted Uncle Sal. Uh, side. At the if you see him, tell him I'm looking for him, will you? I'll do that. All right, I'll see you. Okay. Uh, before I go on and ask you something. All right, right. I'll bet you I can ask myself a question and answer it, but I'll bet you can't ask yourself a question and answer it. How's that? <laughs> well, I'll just declare. I say I'll bet I can ask myself a question and answer it, but I'll bet you can't ask yourself a question and answer it. Okay, Smarty. 
Go ahead and ask yourself a question. All right. Why is it you never find any dirt around a rabbit hole? Well, that's your question. Go on and answer it. Because he starts at the bottom and digs up. Oh, yeah? Yeah. How does he get to the bottom? Well, that's your question. <laughs> Say, Copas, we sure got a pack of folks here at the Opry this evening. You bet we have, Grant. It's good to see so many people enjoying themselves on Saturday night. And did you notice how many of the men were enjoying Prince Albert before they came inside? Well, naturally. Of course, PA is the natural thing to smoke. Men who like cool, comfortable pipe smoking just naturally turn to mild, tasty Prince Albert smoking tobacco. You see, nature, in her own sure way, put the flavor in PA. And that fine, mellow flavor is kept there for you to enjoy pipe full after pipe full. Man, what tobacco. Yes, due to Prince Albert's exclusive process, perfected over a period of nearly 50 years, all the aged, dim, mellow, ripe goodness of the choice tobacco is held and heightened for extra pipe pleasure. Remember, the ladies like P.A.'s clean, fresh aroma when you light up, too. In a pipe or making cigarette, try Prince Albert. The National Joy Smoke. Well, it's always a real pleasure to welcome fine folks from the field of country music to the old Ryman Auditorium for our Grand Ole Opry. But tonight's a little special because the folks are kind of special. Let's give a, an old-fashioned Opry welcome to Jim Wilson and his little daughter June. Here they are. It's a real pleasure to have the Wilsons visiting with us tonight. Well, thank you, Copas. It's really great and wonderful to be here. Well, how about bringing us up to date on all of the happenings at the Wilson home, eh? Well, of course, I keep my heart in my throat about half the time, hoping June's going to remember to say her words. But let's talk to the War Department here. All right. Get her up here and see uh, how things are doing. How are you tonight, honey? Fine. Have we got a deal? Yeah. What's the deal? You bought me this little doggy. I'd... I'd say my lines up. On the uh, show. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, all right. <laughs> okay, darling. Let's try it now. Here's our Mercury record of Daddy, you know what? I own a mansion. I own the world. I own the heavens of blue. For my mind is at ease with my kids on my knees making my dream world come true I don't have the finest house in town and the car that I drive is old but the way the good Lord has shined down on me is more precious to me than gold He's blessed our house with children, bright and strong and healthy. And when they hug my neck and kiss me, then I know I'm really wealthy. For where on earth could money buy the happiness and joy of a little girl curled up on your lap? Or a fishing trip with your boy? Why, there's many a man with money to burn who'd give it all up just to hear the soft little voice of his own little boy saying his evening prayer. Yes, I can fight the battles of life every day and take trials and disappointments with a smile because there's one thing I've got, no matter what, the love and devotion of my child. Yes, I'll always be rich and looked up to by all and get all from this world that I'm due when one of my kids climbs up in my lap and says, Daddy, you know what? What, darling? I love you. I own a mansion. I own the world. I own the heavens of blue. For my mind my kids on my knees, making my dream world come true. We had a mighty
mighty friendly letter from some of our good neighbors down Alabama way this past week asking if we'd do their special sacred song on the Opry tonight, and we're mighty glad to oblige. It's one of our favorites, too. I Saw the Light. a lot. But here comes a friend of yours with something mighty important on his mind. Say, Copas, how long do you think it should take a fella to roll his own making cigarette? Well, if he uses Prince Albert, no time at all, Grant. Right. PA's made for a perfect making cigarette. The fine tobacco is crimp cut, which means it doesn't blow around or dribble out the ends. Roll Prince Albert in an OCV paper, and it's there to stay. And when you put a match to Prince Albert and take the first mild, tasty puff, man, what flavor. Flavor is right. Prince Albert's special process, perfected over a period of nearly 50 years, locks in the natural flavor so good that you get the same tasty smoke every time you light up. So roll your next makings with Prince Albert, America's largest selling smoking tobacco. Nature in her own sure way put the flavor in PA. Try Prince Albert, you'll agree it's tobacco as nature meant tobacco to be. Well, sir, the old piano is being moved down front, and that means it's time for the king of the country music piano players, Moon Mullican. <laughs> You're a mean, mean mama, and you don't do me no good. You're a mean, mean mama, and you don't do me no good. I don't blame you, baby, be the same way if I could. You're a mean, mean mama, and it's hard to change your mind. You're a mean, mean mama, and it's hard to change your mind. Well, you keep me worried, worried all the time.
Ah, that's mighty fine, Moon Mulligan. That boy sure goes to town, doesn't he? By golly, here's a gal who goes to town. Comes in from Grinder Switch every week just to come running out here and say, Howdy! <laughs> I'm just so proud to be here. Because I had an awful time last night, Copus. You did? Yes, a tall, handsome man tried to climb in my window. Oh, he did? Yes, so I called the fire department. The fire department? Why didn't you call the police department? I wanted the fire department. He needed a longer ladder. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll tell you right now, I mean, I'd Copus, I love to get a good one on him. Well, after though, Mammy was just talking to me. She said to me last night, she said, I'm really getting worried about you getting married. She said, you're really getting to the age where you ought to be thinking about getting married. <laughs> Uncle Nabob said, think about it. She's getting to the age where she might as well forget about it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I said, oh, we had a letter from Cousin Elmer last week. He's in, over in the South Pacific. You know, he's Uncle Nabob's boy that's in the service. And he said over there in one of them islands where he's at, a man can get a bunch of bananas and a bag of coffee and a wife for one dollar. Oh, Uncle Nabob said, I bet that coffee ain't fit to drink. <laughs> <laughs> well, I had <laughs> Miss Maud Plummer up at Grinder Switch. She's a nice lady up there, young lady about my age. <laughs> she done went off to the city and had her face lifted. And uh, I don't know whether they have done such a good job of that or not. She went to one of them plastered surgeons <laughs> and had a face lifted. And I'm telling you, they've got her nose turned up so fur. Every time she sneezes, she blows her hat off. <laughs> I sure do pity her when it starts to rain. Well, <laughs> She brung all of her young'uns with her for us to see. Ooh, she's got more young'uns I never seen the beat. She's got about, she's got four yard young'uns and a crawler and a lap child. She left that middle little boy hers with us and told me I want, she says, now you keep him for me till I get back. And she says, now if he acts kind of ornery, she says, just take a hairbrush and comb his hair. Said when he gets off from naughty, he'll calm down if you comb his hair. <laughs> brush his hair with this brush. She handed me that brush and took off. I use the brush, all right, but I use the opposite end of the brush on the opposite end of the young one. <laughs> 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 Well, we get a great big kick out of talking with Cousin Minnie Pearl. And from the sound of the applause earlier in the show, I think you folks really enjoyed Jim Wilson. So how about another song from Jim? Like that? Jim, it's all yours, boy. Thank you very much. We'd like to do our first Mercury record called The Farmer and the Lord. Prayer, prayer, wonder. Thoughts to the Lord just fly through the air to that heavenly throne to those all hearing ears a prayer can make a smile out of tears ask Jesus to help you as you go your way through the dark, starless night or bright, shining day. A butcher, a baker, a farmer, a king, just talk to the Lord. A prayer is the While resting one evening by the side of the road, 
I saw an old farmer in the field he had just mowed. His face was brown, wrinkled with the sun and the wind. And he was talking to the Lord like he was talking to a friend. Well, sir, he said with a voice calm and quiet. These corn tassels need sacking, but got no string to tie. Had no rain in so long, it, the fields is getting dusty. It's been so unbearable hot that the young'uns is mighty fussy. Well, the grass down in the pasture could be knee high. We could just have a little shower, Lord. Might keep the cow from going dry. Oh, but listen to me talking. You'd think I wasn't grateful. Why, if you didn't know me so well, Lord, you'd think I was downright hateful. You'd think it forgot that new calf that you sent, that money in the mail that took care of the rent, that Ma's coal is better, and Johnny's home from the Navy, and that good Sunday dinner of chicken and dumplings and gravy. And Lord, that new preacher you sent us is a fine young man. He's converting those sinners to beat the bank. Well, I guess I'll head on home now. Won't take no more of your time. I reckon there's lots of folks hereabouts that's waiting to ring your line. Well, evening to you, Lord, and watch over us tonight. And don't you worry about us, Lord. Everything's going to be all right. A prayer can be a smile out of tears. <laughs> This old five-string banjo just a going like crazy. It's Grandpa Jones. Oh, hello, that stranger. How do you do? There's something I'd like to say to you now. Don't be surprised. You recognize I'm no detective, but I've just surmised that you found the place where I long to be. Your smiling face seemed to say to me, you're from my homeland, sunny homeland. That tell me, can it be? That you come to see, I said come to see. Where the fields of cotton beg to me, I'm glad to see you. Tell me how be you and the friends I'm longing to see. Are you from Alabama, Tennessee, or Carolina? Any place below the Mason Dixon line? Are you from Texas? I said from Texas. Oh, I'm from Texas. Cross that old Mason Dixon line now, gee, but I've yearned, long to return to that old place that I left behind. Well, my home is way down in Alabama on an old plantation near Birmingham. But there's one thing certain, I'm always certain with those southbound trains that run to Dixie. I said to Dixie, where the fields of cotton beckon to me, I'm glad to see you. Tell me how be you and the friends I'm longing to see. Are you from Alabama, Tennessee, or Caroline? Any place below the Mason Dixon line? Are you from Dixie? I said from Dixie. Oh, I'm from kind permission we'd like to do a song for you it's our very latest recorded number although we did this one a long while ago it's a real old timer we hope you enjoy it fellas would you kick me off please I'll tell you the reason why I left her there To roam the 
this old world with its sorrow and care. I saw her one night in the arms of a man, hugging and kissing like true lovers can. I went to my home with a heart full of woe. I packed my belongings determined to go. For many long years this old world I did roam with thoughts of my darling, my sweetheart, my home. His sister was that old sweetheart of mine. When he heard my story to me, then he said, The one that you love has a long time been dead. Now I am the man whom you saw that fatal night, wrapped in the arms of my sister so tight. She loved you so dearly, but you broke her heart, or stranger from her ever. Swing her along. First couple out of the lady and lead Jim over and take me to the old side door. Back on the street, right on the floor. Ah, oh, friends, we sure had a fine time visiting you folks. And we hope you enjoyed your stay at the Grand Ole Opry. Say, next week, you be sure and be on hand, because we'll all come calling for you in the old buckboard. At that time, the man in the driver's seat will be Hank Snow. And right beside him, Marty Robin. Till then, this is Cowboy Copa saying, thanks for everything. We'll see you next Saturday night at the Grand Ole Opry. How can you measure the enjoyment you get from your cigarette? By the way the smoke feels and tastes. That's why so many smokers favor king-size Cavaliers. When you smoke a Cavalier, you can feel and taste the smoking enjoyment. Feel the smooth, light, easy-going quality of the smoke. Taste the rich, welcome flavor. Yes, that's the two-way smoking pleasure you get with every puff of a king-size Cavalier. Today's the day to discover the fresh, new feeling of smoking wonderful Cavaliers. Today's the day to catch up with the thousands of smokers who found that Cavalier is the cigarette that gives you the extras at no extra cost. Yes, you get all the extras when you smoke king-size Cavaliers. Extra length, extra flavor, and extra value. Yes, remember, there has been no increase in the price of Cavaliers. Get your carton of king-size Cavaliers today. This program was brought to you by WSM, affiliated with the National Broadcasting Company. This is Monitor, the new...